as long as Oliver and Callie are having a good time, I'm having a good time. Ooh. Okay, Oliver. And see, Oliver sometimes just wants to like, give me a hug and come on and just hug me. Okay. And then in 20 seconds, he was just trying to bite me for no reason. Oliver is so curious. They are so excited. And they are ripping it up already. They're like, we want the whole thing. What's going on everybody welcome back to another video here at blake's exotic anna ranch as we told you guys before if you guys have been following the ranch we never stop rain shine snow thunderstorms it doesn't matter what it is we never stop here we had a delivery today for oliver and callie and it's inside of this box so before we open it all up probably from the title and thumbnail you already know what's going on but we're gonna pretty much we opened it up because it got here a little late we wanted to make sure everything was all right inside of it we're gonna bring it over there and let them do the rest of the unboxing it's gonna be really, really fun. It's great enrichment for them, and they're gonna have a blast. There are 700, hopefully, live animals inside of here, and the animals are obviously fish. And uh, they haven't had live fish on a video for you guys, ever. I've seen it happen, but you guys haven't seen it happen. So I wanna experience this whole entire thing all on film together, so let's get it. All right, so we came inside Oliver and Callie's enclosure. We just got them in their little teeny pool because we wanna give them all their enrichment right here. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab the hoses behind you guys, start filling this bad boy up so they can start swimming and getting used to the little pool. They love new things and they love to be very curious. So we're gonna get a little bit of water. Oh, all right. Fill that up, two seconds. And then we're gonna bring their box and put their box right here and let them have a blast. Oliver absolutely loves hoses, as you can see, and he is going crazy over there right now. Callie's having a blast as well, and it is about to get crazy in just a few seconds. It, Callie nips a lot, as you guys know. We didn't raise her up from a little baby like Oliver, so we can do whatever we want with Oliver. But Callie, you can't really do that too much because she was more uh, raised by somebody else and she still doesn't trust me as well. Eh, 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 eh. That's my hose. My hose, my hose, my hose. All right, so I think that's about just enough water. What do you guys think? I think that's about enough. More? More? All right. We'll go. And now we have a bag right here. This bag is filled with over 700 fat head minnows for Oliver and Callie. We're gonna let that sit for a few seconds and we're gonna actually take out the first bag so that it's only one bag in there and then give them what they have been waiting for. They are gonna go absolutely insane. Look at them, look at them. They're like, oh, oh, what's in there? What's in there? Oliver is so curious. They are so excited and they are ripping it up already. They're like, we want the whole thing. Like, grab it. Ugh. They're like, we want the whole thing. All right. So there are, like we just mentioned, over 700 live fish inside of here and they want the whole bag. Check them out. They are going crazy. All right. So now it is time to open this thing up. So here it goes, you guys. They don't know what to expect. They think they, think they know what's inside of here. But come check it out. Come get closer, you guys. There are hundreds and hundreds of fat head minnows in here. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at all those fish inside there. Let's get all this plastic out of the way. Oh, got one. Callie already got one. She is munching it up already. Look at her. Oliver just has his head in. Now this right here, you guys, is a fish craziness for Oliver and Callie. Now they are having an absolute blast. They're going crazy. They don't know what to do with themselves. And they're just having a blast right now. Check them out. Obviously the fish are gonna be food for them. And what we're gonna do as well is we're gonna grab a couple handfuls and throw some in the main pond for them. So they can do a lot more enrichment for the next couple of days, hopefully. But um, this is gonna be crazy. 
We guys having a good time? Look at him, look at him. I think Kylie's eating him. All of them grab. Then now they are jumping in and out, in and out, and now they're like, oh my god. There's a lot of fish inside of here. What should we do? <laughs> Callie's eating them. I, or Callie's just chewing them and throwing them back in. I'm not too sure. What do you guys think Callie's doing? Eating them or chewing them? Their heads in the water. They're both like checking it all out. There's so many fish They're like in hiding though. from them. Fat head minnows inside of here. Great little food source for these guys. Obviously, this is a lot of fish in there. They're not going to eat them all. But it's just going to be a good old time for them to have a good time. The water's real cold too. Oh, that's what Callie's doing. Chewing them and throwing them back in in pieces. I think, she, oh, so yeah. a lot of people tell me that otters are destroyers. They kill and they won't eat anything. And I think that's what she's doing. She wants every single one of these guys dead. And it kind of looks like it's what she is trying to do right now. It's kill everybody. One by one. Right, Callie, is that, is that what you're trying to do right now? Yep, bite yeah. it and kill it. Bite it and kill it. But at the end of the day, this is enrichment for the otters. This is what they would do in the wild, finding their fish, killing them and stuff. But obviously because they're captive born and they're in captivity, they don't need to eat every fish. In the wild, they're gonna eat every single one because they don't know when the next time, oh my God, the next time will be for more otters, for more food for them. So from here they know, they're gonna get another meal at a certain time. So we're gonna scoop out hopefully a few hundred of them and get them into the pond over there with all that oxygen before they destroy every single one. Oh, 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 they're, they're getting my bolt. This is not gonna be easy. All right, we're not gonna throw the, the broken pieces in here. The ones that are half dead. They're just destroying everybody over here. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's go run this over there real quick into their main pond. Look at all of them, Oliver's like, what's going on? What are you doing over here? So we're gonna dump all these guys in here right now. And there they all go. They feel a lot more happier inside of there. They're hitting the corners, they're going crazy inside of there. And that's what we wanted for them to feel more comfortable inside of that little green turtle kiddie pool. They didn't really like it. Here comes Callie with a little fish in her mouth. Oliver's rubbing around. Look, Callie's a little fish in her mouth. Like, what's up? What's going on over here? The little fish in her mouth. And Oliver and Callie absolutely love their artificial bass. Oh, look, Callie just ate that one. She's gonna eat a few of them. I don't know if she'll eat them all, but she'll definitely eat some. Oliver is a picky little small called Oliver. Callie, on the other hand, has been eating shrimp, frog legs, chicks, mice, everything. She's going back for more. Oliver just wants to hang out with me all day long. Hey, right, Oliver. Give her, Oliver. No, not my All right, let's go grab another handful of fish and throw them in there. There's a ton of fish in here. They're looking good. Some of them are kind of chewed up because they already got eaten, but once they figure it all out, they're gonna be in here non-stop having about Oliver is just this is what Oliver does that that's Oliver for us you guys give me Oliver you good boy Oliver oh nothing in the bowl nothing oh. in the bowl nothing in the bowl oh, 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 oh. Pally is going crazy over here oh my goodness Yeah, we definitely want a few hundred over there because I actually did this one time way back, oh, Oliver, way back then for the aviary pond and we still have fathead minnows that are living in there and they're doing really, really well, which is awesome. Oh. Um. You're, 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 I'm putting them in and you're dumping them out. I'm putting them in and you're dumping them out. But they are having fun. Put it down in the comments right now that you guys do you guys think Oliver and Callie are having an absolute blast? <laughs> Oliver, you're eating from my bowl that I don't want you to eat from. Oh, oh, Callie doesn't like to be touched too much, but we can sometimes get it. All right, all right, let me go dump these in there real quick. I'll be back in a second.
This place is going to feel quite fishy for the next couple of days, but that's all right. As long as Oliver and Callie are having a good time, I'm having a good time. Right, Oliver? Big butt, Oliver. Oh, They're just destroying them all up. And then all these extra pieces and all that, nothing's going to go to waste, you guys. What we're going to do with all the cut pieces that they don't eat, we'll sweep them all up, put them in a bowl. We can freeze them and feed them to turtles. We can feed them to tortoises. We'll probably just feed them to some of our young uh, turtles that we have. They'll eat them with no problem. They don't care that they're chewed up or not. It'll be like a little uh, fillet for them. Oh, they threw up. They threw a fish over there. Let's grab that fish. It's trying to survive. It's not going to survive in there. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a couple more of these live ones out of here. I put them for the. Um, some of the turtles that we have alive, but I'm not too sure. Now put it down in the comments. I know we said it before, last time we did a video like this, we got them crayfish and crabs and they had a blast and we went swimming with them too. But today, we gave them their own little kiddie pool and we brought them back to what they started with. And this is how they learned how to swim with me. They didn't know how to swim because they didn't have their parents at the beginning. And I was Oliver's dad, so I taught Oliver everything he knows, even hunting fish like this. So make sure you check out the old videos of me helping him hunt fish. You guys probably saw could have saw that video and you can see Callie has definitely been calming down a little bit more but she gets a little bloop, bloop, little crazy when uh you start messing with her too much but they're having a blast we got a handful of nice fishes over here There's still quite about, probably a good 100 that are still inside of here, I'm not gonna lie. So we bought a, the two inch ones. We wanted to get the extra larges that are around three to four inches, but unfortunately the place was sold out. So we were only able to get uh, the two inch ones, but I still think Callie's still having a good old time. Look at her chewing them up, using her little hands and everything, munching them, munching them, munching them. Watch when I touch, watch when I touch her butt. <laughs> She's like, don't touch my butt. That one's really just missing its head. Yep, Callie just took it off. Oh, that was live. And these are one of the hardiest fish. Look, oh, oh my god. It's still alive, right? It's still alive. Yeah, it's crazy. I saw that over here. One of the heads came off and the freaking fish was still moving. The fathead minnows are one of the most hardiest of the bait fish. And they can live in almost anything. They can live in like mud water. So they'll do really, really well. The only thing that shocks them a lot is the temperature change. But if it's nice and gradual, they won't have an issue at all. Okay, I think you're taking them off. No, there's so so many in there. I'm just gonna go dump some to some of my turtles. You guys know I love turtles, but we got some for Oliver too. Ah, 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 ah. Is that Oliver or Callie? That's Oliver. Is it? Hey, 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 Oliver, that's my fish. Oh, Oliver, it's my fish. He's like, uh-uh, buddy. Those are my fish. That's exactly what he was doing. I'll be back in a second. You guys enjoy Oliver and Callie doing their thing. You guys having a good time? It looks like it's about to be 50-50, alive and dead. But um, I'll tell you one thing, they are loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. And I'm happy for them too, because we don't do this every single day, but we try to do it as often as we can. And the last time we did this, at the beginning, we actually 
threw a bunch of tilapia in here way back then, if you guys remember when we started this pond in January, or the end of January, so like February, and um, they ate all the tilapia, they ate them all. But actually there's still a couple that are in there and they had some babies. So there's gonna be a new generation of tilapia in there and they're the smart tilapia because they've learned all the crevices that are inside of this enclosure, inside this pond, and they know that when there's something that's splashed in that water to run to the rocks and they survive. So every time the otters are sleeping on the shore, you see the glass, the fish swimming around. But I know they're having a good old time right now. So as you guys know, we got Callie when she was already around six months old and that was in October. So she's definitely right around the corner now from almost being a little, almost a year, well more than a year now, right? Definitely. I think so, around yeah. almost a year. A little more than a year. And Oliver is about a year and a half now. So we'll definitely be, you guys, hopefully, which would be really, really, really cool, is to have some offspring and some pups here on the ranch for Oliver and Callie, for them to have some, a family, which would be really, really, really cool. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. As long as they're happy and they're healthy and eating well, I think they'll have babies. And they definitely look like they're eating well. They have an enormous enclosure, as you guys know and you guys seen before. We have the giant pond for them huge enclosure they have AC inside their house they have beds inside their house they go in every single night into their AC house uh, get pampered make sure they get their good meal every single night and they live the best life. and then during the day they run around and do their thing but if we stand up real quick we have this little deck right here I'm definitely gonna add a little bit more play area over here because of the South Florida rain and everything that's been going on here in South Florida it does rain a lot and even though they love to be in the water every single day they have been showing me that it's enough already it's enough rain during the day so i'm gonna make a couple more decks around here probably so they can have a little more shelving because they do climb a lot and they do like to stay out of the rain and not get wet even though they're in the pond all day but i guess they just don't like that colder rain water so i'm gonna have definitely stay tuned for an upcoming video because we will add another deck in here for them and i think it'll be really really neat um if you have any ideas that you guys want to give me i'm always open to ideas i only have one brain and I have millions of you guys that are watching every single day and putting us all together, the Ranch Fam, we can definitely come up with some dope, crazy ideas. I watch the comments, I read the comments, and I get some ideas from you guys all the time. So definitely suggest you guys put something down in the comments and share this to a friend. If you guys wanna see this more often and this video gets more than 5,000 likes, we'll do this again and maybe with a different type of fish. Maybe with a goldfish, maybe with a shiner. I'm not too sure. What? Ooh. Okay, Oliver. And see, Oliver sometimes just wants to like, give me a hug and come on and just hug me. Okay. And then in 20 seconds, he'll just try to bite me for no reason. But that's what these animals do. That's why you never want to go out and just go purchase yourself one of these guys because they're so cute and adorable when they're babies. But when they turn to be about a year old, they start becoming a little feisty and they need massive, massive enclosures. Bigger is always better. People always ask me, what size enclosure should I do? And I can say, well, this is what they recommend, but if you can do it three times bigger, four times bigger, do it. Because the animals are always going to use as much as they can. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch inside of Oliver and Callie's enclosure. Giving them a fish frenzy, a box opening, a plastic bag opening, whatever you guys wanted to call it. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, put the post notifications on so you guys are always notified when we update and shoot and post another video. Stay tuned, you guys, and I will see you guys all later. Peace out, everyone.